Hey, 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 Odyssey guys. This is um, Mr. P coming at you with another week, or our week two of tier three learning. So uh, I only have one uh, assignment for you this week that I'd really like you to do. And we have some extensions to that assignment, you know. Um, <laughs> and it, but let's get to the, the, the meat of it. it. This is a washing hands video on Brain Pop. So I'd like you to just watch it with me, answer some questions. And, um, you know, and then move on. And if you want to do the additional uh, lesson parts, you can, but you do not have to. Um, they are pretty fun, though. So, all right, let's get this started. Um, we're going to be watching this video. And um, when I ask you to pause, I will just need you to possibly use a piece of paper, if you, uh, a piece of paper and a pencil if you, and you, <laughs> if you have it. And if you um, don't, that's fine too. But I would like you to try to either draw your answers in a picture form or write your answers out and or both. So let's give out a shot. Uh, we'll start up this little quick video now. Time to go to lunch, Moby. Let's go. It's taco day. Oh, right. I have to wash my hands first. Thanks for reminding me, Moby. Why do you have to wash your hands? All right. So, a uh, pretty simple question. Why do we have to wash our hands? <laughs> um, I want you to pause the video now and go ahead and come at me with your answers. Uh, so, I'll pause it and write mine down on my chalkboard. Okay, what did you guys come up with for answers? Um, sorry, I can't hear you. All right, I'm joking. Let's see what Mr. P came up with. Um, I got... Ooh, come on. Germs and bacteria. Big word. Hard to write with a big piece of chalk. So, uh, yeah, germs. I drew a picture here, so you can always draw pictures. And I wrote the word germs, but you could also spell bacteria if you know how to spell that one. B-A-C-T-E-R-I-A. -E so <clears throat> let's go ahead and continue. We touch lots of stuff every day, like when we play. Even if your hands don't look dirty, they still collect germs. Last an extension. If you have a black white light, uh, go ahead and... Just wash your hands sometimes real quick, or don't even wash your hands. Just turn off the lights, shine the black light on your hands and look at them, and they're probably going to be soiled if you haven't washed them in the past 20 minutes. So just check that out sometime, or wash your hands and then, and then check it out with black light and see how well you did. Germs are icky stuff you can't see, and they can make you sick. A lot of kids touch the same things. So the stuff you touch collects germs from everyone. So guys, if you're playing with friends, I really want you to think about this. You're not, you're supposed to keep social distance six feet away from them. But also, you know, if you touch them in any way, even playing tag, you're really putting yourself at risk. So I want you to think about that, especially during these uh, crazy times. Germs can get inside your body, through your eyes or through your mouth. If there are germs on your hands, then you can spread them to other people. But if you wash your hands, you can kill germs and help keep you and everyone around you healthy. How should you wash your hands? Well, first you need water. All right, so this is the time when I want you to go ahead and list everything out or draw me a picture. Ready, set, go, and pause it. Okay, so uh, what'd you guys come up with? Mm-hmm. Yes. No, 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 no. No, okay, yes. <laughs> Can't hear you, sorry, I'm joking. All right, so here's what I came up with. One, use warm water, water droplets, uh, and wet your hands. Two, use soap. <laughs> So make sure you put some good soap on your hands. And uh, three, wash everything on your hands. That means get those fingers, get underneath of your nails. Wash by moving around your hands. Get those fingers really well. Scrub-a-dub-dub -dub all the way around. 
and maybe you can sing a song if you're someone who wants to do that just sing twinkle twinkle little star like two times quickly three times maybe if you're a super fast singer um but after 20 seconds you should be good to go as long as you've been thorough and then you dry them now guys number four when you dry at school we don't have paper towels anymore so you actually have to you know put them under the blower if you want to i actually do recommend wiping them on your pants too as long as your pants are clean which they should be on the sides because uh, you can get extra soot or dirt or and or bacteria off that way. So wiping off those hands, and if you have something to wipe them on that's clean, that's uh, an extra protective measure. All right, cool. That's question number two. Let's keep on going. You can't wash your hands if you don't get them wet. The water should be warm because that helps the soap do its job. Lather it up. You should wash between your fingers and under your nails, too. Phew, there's some leftover peanut butter stuck under there. You should wash for at least 20 seconds. Good idea, Moby. I can sing a song that lasts about 20 seconds. Maybe I'll sing. So when I'm done singing, I'm done washing my hands. I could sing Twinkle, Twinkle, Little Star. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So exciting. Okay, now I'm done. Make sure to dry your hands. When should you wash your hands? Grandpa always tells me I should wash. Oh man, I just gave a clue away because I played a little bit too much. Um, when should you wash your hands? Uh, let's think about this one. Do 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 do. Do 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 All right, here's what I came up with. Well, what did you get? Really? Really? Yeah. All the time. Yeah. Mr. P's handwriting is sloppy, by the way. I know it's tough for me on that little board and in this little area, but I'm not going to complain. And, uh, you know, if you ever want to be a teacher, you don't have to have the best handwriting in the world. Side note. All right. <clears throat> but you should still be practicing writing well. Anyway, uh, guys, anytime you go out and do things for an extended period of time, your hands are going to get a little bit soiled. So I highly recommend that you just make sure that you constantly wash your hands, just a healthy practice and it's a clean practice, just like brushing our teeth, making sure we take showers regularly. As, you know, so whenever you feel like you could have gotten a little bit dirty, touching someone else, touching an animal, you know, playing outside with friends, you should wash your hands when you come inside, whenever you have an ability to go to a sink or make the time to go to one. All right, let's keep on watching. My hands when I cook, that way I don't spread germs to my family. And I know everyone should wash their hands before and after they eat. Mm -hmm. yep. You definitely need to wash your hands after you do chores, like taking out the garbage. You stinky. She's right. Right. You should wash your hands after playing with animals. <gasps> if you sneeze, cough, or blow your nose, be sure to wash your hands after so you don't spread germs. Thanks, Moby. It's really important to wash your hands after using the bathroom. Right, Moby. There are lots of times when you should wash your hands. Who washes their hands? Everyone touches stuff, so everyone... Guys, I didn't stop at the right time, but come on. Everyone touches stuff, like she just said. Everyone washes their hands. You got to do it. Whenever you go to the bathroom, you better wash your hands. I don't even care if uh, you didn't even do anything in the bathroom except stand there. Guess what? Door handle is probably dirty. Wash your hands. Yep, that's right. Uh, guys, it, it, it's just a great practice. So I hope that this video has motivated you. Let's watch the rest of this and then just have a few extensions uh, for you to uh, think about to this lesson. One needs to wash their hands. Don't people who work with food wash their hands, like cooks and waiters? Don't doctors who work with sick people wash their hands to keep from spreading germs? Don't mechanics need to wash their hands after fixing cars? Don't people who work with money need to wash their hands, too. She forgot students working at their desks because other kids touch their desks, you know, and then it can get kind of nasty. So, you know, wash your hands. Right, Moby.
Robots have to wash their hands, too. If you wash your hands, we can still make it for Taco Day. Taco Day. All right, well, uh, guys, so <clears throat> here are my lesson extensions. Uh, number one, if you want to do something fun, you have to ask your parents. I'm going to repeat that. Ask your parents if you can have a little bit of glitter, if you have some. Uh, take just a little bit, put it on your hands, you know, just like a little pinch. Put it on your hand. Um, and then uh, ask your parents if you can shake their hand or whoever you're living with. See, just shake their hand and then ask them to look at their hand. And um, did they get any glitter on it? You'll see, and you'll see what happens. And that's how easily ger germs can spread. So that's one way. Uh, second extension, <clears throat> if you have some baby powder, your parents do, um, you're gonna put a handful of it in your hand, go outside and then do a pretend sneeze, a big one, a two, and uh, sneeze into your hand and try to blow that baby powder and just see how far it blows. Because when you, shoot, they say it can actually go up to like 27 feet away from you. So that can spread. And you'll see that baby powder spread everywhere. That's actually how much uh, germs can spread if uh, people are sick, especially. Um, so please make sure that you, you know, maybe take some of those practices on. Last one is fun. Oh, I took some time to make a little cartoon. Uh, maybe you can see it here. Mr. P uh, versus Dr. Disgusting. So Dr. Disgusting is, um, he's this guy right here. I don't know if you can see him. He looks pretty disgusting. So um, let's start my little story. I, I made a cartoon here and I, you know, your parents should be able to access a PDF for you that you can just download and look in and print the one that you want. And this is all additional. You don't have to do this at all. I'm going to say it again. You don't have to do this at all. This is for fun. I like doing comics. Anyway, so uh, Mr. P versus Dr. Disgusting, you know, um, let me see here. What did I say? My man or Mr. P helps me PE teacher by day, superhero against unhealthy activities at night and, you know, during the day too, was making dinner with his family one night. So he's like, hey, Bay. That's why I call my wife. Hey, Bay. Uh, B-A-E. Uh, not B-A-Y. Should we uh, add more garlic? And the baby's like, yabba dabba do. Let me see that little baby there. Let's see. Here's my baby. She's like, yabba dabba do. And my, my wife is like, of course, always. So she says to me, all right, because we eat a lot of garlic. Don't ask me why. I want to beat vampires or something. Anyway, switch down here to Dr. Disgusting. And he's like, ha. all the while, he, Dr. Disgusting, is planning something disgusting. And um, it, it over, what did I say? <laughs> And to come over to the pee out. Well, I don't know if I wrote that right. Anyway, so Dr. Disgusting is despicable plan. He's going to take this pepper to my aunt. And he is going to basically, uh, he's going to sneeze into his hand and then shake her hands and get her sick. And then she's going to come and get me sick because she loves us. And she stops over during the quarantine even when she's not supposed to. Jeez. I wouldn't shake her hand anyway, but hey, so you know what happens is my aunt is smart and she sees Dr. Disgusting. Oh, can you see this? And he's like, he's like, huh? Chew later that day. He's like, hey, you want to shake my hand? She's like, sure. If you wash your hands first, that's what she says. She, you see her there? She's like, sure. If you wash your hands first, I know. Mr. B's got to work on his drawing too. And so then anyway, I list the steps um, for washing your hands. So ah. Oh my gosh, I am struggling with my camera. One, you know, you wet your hands with warm water. Two, use soap. Three, wash your hands everywhere and, th and just well for at least 20 seconds. And then four, wipe your hands off. And then it says down here, he's like, there's soap suds and stuff. And he's washing hands. He's like foiled again. So anyway, I have a smart family. That's why Mr. P wins out. But uh, that is the bottom line, even though my aunt stops over during the quarantine. She's not supposed to. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, hey, guys, uh, I hope you can get something out of this lesson this week, and I hope you can access my other resources. I will uh, be posting more videos. I'm going to be posting a, a video challenge in the near future, so stay tuned for that. Um, all right, that's it for now. Miss you guys. Hope you're staying well or safe, uh, healthy, and happy. All right. Have a good one. Pete out. See you later.